to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Enjoying some holiday beers here, some holiday eggnog. What do I have here tonight? Well, something that I don't think I've ever really reviewed on this channel, a wine. This here is one I picked up at an Aldi grocery store. An Aldi wine special for 10 bucks. Nine or 10 bucks, right? Under 10 bucks. What is it? So I'm Pettit Peppermint Bark. It says wine specialty. I don't know if Pettit's a brand. I don't know. All I know is it's peppermint bark wine for 10 bucks. I'm not a wine guy. Damn, this doesn't look anything like wine, does it? So it says a blend of white wine with peppermint and chocolate flavor and finest cream. So, very interesting there. Uh, on the back of it, it does say 13.9% uh, um, alcohol by volume. It says imported by Mac and Schul Inc. I don't know what that is. Doesn't really matter to me. It says Pettit Peppermint Bark is the perfect synergy of fine wine with peppermint and chocolate flavor and finest cream. Its rich and creamy taste makes this wine specialty a delightful dessert on its own or a perfect companion to all kinds of desserts and ice cream. Best served chilled. So, it's not chilled, but it has been setting out uh, in my bar room, which actually got kind of cold. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and try it out uh, warm and I'll uh, throw it in the refrigerator and then I'll I'll try it again another day. Um, chill, see how it goes, okay? So, I'm gonna crack this open. I don't know if there's a cork in here or anything like that. Well, I'm assuming there's probably gonna be. There's not even a cork in it, holy shit. All right, what type of wine doesn't come with a cork, right? So, use Marty Moose here. Fill it up here. And I'm not a wine drinker, so no, you don't uh, um, expect anything like a professional wine taster here. I barely get by drinking beer and reviewing beer. So, look at that, just a milky, ch chocolate milk color to this. Looks like all those coffees I review, right? Just a chocolatey co color. So I give it a little, little swirl, a little fine wine swirl there. All right. Wow. So honestly, um, I get peppermint, peppermint bark, no doubt. And peppermint is one of those aromas that can just kick your ass. It's so powerful, it can be. Huh. It honestly just kind of smells like a, a peppermint, really strong peppermint uh, dairy drink. I don't get any hints of uh, real alcohol or any or wine aroma or anything like that. So let's get a drink on her. Huh. That is much better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm not a white wine drinker or red wine. Uh, you know, I, I'll drink a glass, like a partial glass here and there. Uh, when we have it here, crack it open. My wife might drink a little bit here and there. Friends might be over, or family, something like that. But I'm not really um, a wine drinker per se. I don't even feel comfortable saying this is a wine. I mean, it says it's a white wine with peppermint and chocolate flavor and finest cream. Um, but it's pretty good, man. It doesn't taste like wine. So if you're like, oh, I don't like wine. I'm not a wine drinker. This doesn't really taste like wine. If you are a wine drinker, on the flip side, you might not like this because it doesn't taste like wine. It's got a creamy body or creamy mouthfeel. Nice peppermint. I don't get any hints of alcohol in this, not even on the XL. Um, this is one, honestly, 
This would get me in trouble. 13.9 ounce. You know, I get a few drinks under my under my belt. I might not be able to stop drinking this down this hole. I don't know how much it is. What? How big it is? 750 milliliters. Is that what it said? Yeah. Yeah. Down this whole damn bottle in one night. Um, as far as scoring this, I don't really score these types of drinks, but I'm giving two thumbs up. This is pretty damn good. Uh, it's much, much better than I thought it was going to be. Actually, when I picked it up, I just seen a oh, peppermint, you know, bark. I'm going to grab this. I didn't realize it was a wine. Then I was like, oh, shit, I don't like wine. I remember have to review it on the channel, but turns out worked out pretty good for me. I actually like it. So, uh, you had this before. You had any other, um... Aldi wines or any wine like this in general and all these step in their game up you know I don't shop at Aldi a lot but I've been popping in there a little bit more um, they're stepping their game up on their alcohol section it's cheap it's good yeah, I'm not rich you know it's cheap it's good it's affordable um, so I don't mind picking up stuff like this from there especially get to review it here now I know I get to enjoy it so hey I ramble too much so if you like what you're seeing here become a subscriber I'd appreciate that if you are one hey thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and uh like always